Now we're going to talk about progress monitoring. There's a progress monitoring component of this. This is related to um, RTI, response to intervention, uh, progress monitoring, all those kinds of things, IEPs, all of those things use that um, to graph things and see if kids are making progress in general. So the progress monitoring tests, and you actually have sample ones on page 11 and 12 of your packet, um, are all the facts in the operation, not just the ones they've learned, all of them. So when they first start taking the two-minute timings, they can't answer most of them quickly. But they have two minutes, and we know before we start this that they can figure out facts. So if they look over the thing, they find all the facts that they know, uh, they answer those, and if they still have time, they can start figuring out facts until the end of the two minutes. What should happen is every week they're learning a few more facts, a few more facts, a few more facts. Every week when they take their two-minute test, there should be more of them that they know right off the bat. And so they can go through and answer more, and then they will answer more in two minutes, and their graph will go up. Now, uh, everybody uh, takes the same test as long as they're on the same operation. Um, and so you can have them correct it together. Now, if you have a few kids that are up on the next operation, they're going to have to correct their own or in pairs or what have you. Um, and the answer keys are available. But um, they take the, everybody takes the same test because it's just a, a mix of the problems. They have two minutes to do it. On those days that you do that, so say you do this on Thursdays, you don't uh, do the regular rocket math that day. You just do the two-minute timing. H hand those out to everybody. Students are allowed to skip the unknowns because these have facts in there that they don't know it. On the daily test, they can't skip. And if they skip anything, we mark it as wrong and you can't get any wrong. So they, they cannot skip. They need to go across and answer everything because they know all of those. Um, here they don't know them all, and so they can skip the ones that are unknown. Um, and then do together, you can correct it. So you get the answer key. Everybody has the same uh, timing. So you can have them, what I would do is have them chant out the problems and the answers, right? So, uh, you know, 8 plus 9 is 17, 5 plus 9 is 14, or whatever that says. Um, they're just calling it out, and then they can be checking at the same time. So they're getting some extra practice. Now, they graph the scores, and you recognize those who improved from the last timing. So how is the two-minute timing different from the daily test? Let me count the ways. It takes longer, yeah? It has all of the problems. Yes, it has all of the problems in the operation, not just the ones that they've learned so far. So, um, and so they're allowed to skip. Now, the progress chart, the individual um, progress chart, you stapled on the inside, and it's the one we talked about to say you have to give the first timing, and then you put the number at the bottom that works for each student based on how fast they could write, how many they could answer to begin with. It should trend upward, okay? So I've had people show me these graphs. Uh, they're neatly filled in, and they're flat. And I say it's the same as the monitor. You're monitoring progress here. There's a monitor in the hospital that they hook up to you. And when that monitor goes flat, beep, that's not good, right? That's the last thing you hear. Um, so uh, you don't want the, these to be flat. They should be trending upward. Now, they're going to go up and down. You're going to see a big drop at Christmas vacation, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, in general, they should be trending up. You're monitoring the progress of your program. If they're not trending upward, that means that your progress is probably, your practice is not good, they're not practicing the right way, uh, or some other thing uh, is going on, and so you should look at, you know, check carefully. Um, students with handwriting issues, the goal is like 80 
near the end unless students have handwriting goals and then it's lower, right? Um, and this uh, is a, a straight line like this is, makes an aim line. So for kids who are on IEPs, um, you, this is their present level of performance and this is what their goal is, the two minute goal. And then you just draw a straight line between the two of those. And then each week when you give the test, you graph. And if they're passing this line, they're on the way to meeting their goals. And if they're below the line, they're not, which means they need extra practice, uh, uh, some more time devoted to uh, learning. That's how IEPs are supposed to work.